Hello everybody. The battle to be the most repulsive member of the Conservative Party is hotting up. Jonathan Gullis is really staking a claim in recent weeks. He is often hitting new lows with his anti-migrant rhetoric. Today in the House of Commons, the illegal migration bill was being discussed. Jonathan got into a back and forth with Stella Creasy of the Labour Party over the 200 missing migrant children from Home Office run hotels. The Right Honourable Member for Stoke-on-Trent North has given his opinion before on these missing children. When this subject came up previously in the Commons, he was overheard shouting from a sedentary position, well, they shouldn't have come here in the first place then, or something along those lines. Before I play this clip, bear in mind this man used to be a school teacher, and the subject matter is missing children. Just take a look at this. In terms of the children comments, when the minister came to the dispatch box before uh, about the 200 missing children, 95% of those were 16 to 17 years old, an age in which traffickers and smugglers, sorry, smugglers, encourage people who think they can get away with looking at such an age, are encouraged to do. 88% of those were Albanians. Why would any parent spend £4,500 to send their child illegally on a small rubber boat when they could go on an aeroplane for £30? And it's important to understand as well that the minister made it clear that with those 200, there was no evidence that anyone had been kidnapped, that they left of their own accord. Uh, the previous man, I'm sorry he's not in his place, who suggested that the um, immigration minister himself, when he was dismissing concerns about locking children up, because he was suggesting that they probably weren't children because of the, the concerns about age verification, used a gentle phrase about his mother might say, have a long look in the mirror. I would suggest that the member from Stoke gives his head a wobble for what he's just said about children who have gone missing. 16 and 17 year olds are children. 16 and 17 year olds are children. He's chuntering from a sedentary position. If that child turns up, I hope to goodness that they all turn up safe and well, because if they don't, what this member has just said will come back to haunt him. Now he can keep shouting all he likes, but the vast majority of the British public are horrified by the idea that 200 children plus have gone missing from hotels that the Home Office were supposed to be overseeing. Yes, that man was a school teacher. <sighs> Horrifying, isn't it? What he was chuntering from a sedentary position was something along the lines of verify their ages, suggesting that the children who have gone missing aren't actually children. That's what he's suggesting. Although, even in his own comments, he said 95% of them were 16 to 17 year olds. So that means 5% of them, 5% of the 200 being 10, are under 16. Can you imagine, let's just take his low number there, let's take his low number of 10 under 16 year olds. Can you imagine if 10 under 16 year olds went missing from a school in Stoke-on-Trent North? Would he come into the Commons and be this blasé about it? Of course not. Absolutely not. He genuinely believes migrant children are lesser. Lesser than other children. There's no other way of explaining this. Let's say he's a form tutor, right? Let's say he's a form tutor. Let's say he was a year 12 form tutor, he had his own class, comes in in the morning to take the register, sits down at his desk, and instead of 30 children in front of him, there's none. Do you think he'd say, oh well, they've left of their own accord? Or do you think he might raise the alarm and go, uh, none of my kids turned up this morning. Should we call the police? Should we? Yeah, I think, should we? I think we should. Should we? Well, they did leave of their own accord. Ah, I don't know. Hmm. Truly ridiculous. He's a ridiculous, horrible, vile so-and-so. God, he, he said in an interview with um, Nigel Farage the other day, 
that th this is the subject, migrant boats, in which election victory hinges upon for himself. So naturally, he's going all out on the rhetoric. Th this is all about self-preservation for Jonathan Gullis at this point. This is all about what... He doesn't know what he's going to do next if he's kicked out of office, which he <laughs> is more than likely going to be at the next election. Yeah. Will he... Get, maybe he'll go back into teaching. What do you think? Oh, Lord have mercy. Anyway, well done, Stella Creasy. I mean, she doesn't need to do much. The man digs his own grave and then shovels the soil on top of himself. These are missing children. Missing children. And he's obsessing over the fact their ages can't be verified. So he's suggesting they're all not children. All of them. That's the best case scenario, actually. The worst case scenario is he just doesn't care at all. Which, I mean, there's an argument to suggest he does not care at all. How else can you explain this? A former teacher having such disregard for the lives of children. I've got another point I want to make, actually. So he thinks it's okay for 10 under 16-year-olds to just wander off of their own accord because they feel like it. Maybe then, that's 5%, right? 5%, he said. So maybe then he thinks it's okay for 5% of children to change their gender identity. Maybe 5% of children under the age of 16 can transition. Yeah, Jonathan, yeah? You're right with that. They want to. They want to, so why not? If they're able to wander off into the big bad world by themselves, then why can't they transition? Yes, I'm being flippant. I understand I am. But for God's sake, at what point does he realise how stupid he sounds? This face that Stella Creasy was pulling while he was speaking, I, it, re it speaks for us all. Hold on. Let me find it. Centre is due... It's important to understand as well. This face. It's like... It's a face sort of a face like... Is he really saying what I think he's saying? Is he really this stupid? Or, or who elected him or we can't possibly lose at the next election terrible man a, he is a terrible terrible person come on stoke on trent north vote him out and don't let us down thank you for watching